This is Adrian Webster, the internationally renowned motivational business speaker and best-selling author. And this is Dr. Jack Lewis, TV's favourite neuroscientist. Together, we've written a book called... Sort Your Brain Out. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Helps boost performance. By helping you understand how your brain works and exactly what you can do to get more out of it. Brain training. I see a lot of people on trains using brain training devices and on my computer I get a lot of pop-up adverts advertising it. Now, I know it's a lot of fun and it whiles away the time, but does it really work? It's an interesting question. This is a topic that has been really debated in, in the neuroscience literature because for a long time people always thought that brain training simply isn't going to work. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. But now we know that if you do something regularly enough, consistently enough, and most importantly, do it intensively, you tackle levels that are really pushing out of your comfort zone, your brain will ever so slowly but surely get better and better at that particular mental ability. So going back to the brain training, if I regularly, intensely, consistently play on a brain training device, play a particular type of game on there, does that make me um, more intelligent? Does it, does it increase my memory? Does it sort of, you said spatial awareness, does, does, it, does it help my brain become more, does it boost my brain's performance? Interestingly, if you'd asked me that five years ago, I'd have had to say there's very little evidence to support the fact that brain training can actually improve your intelligence. However, in more recent times, it's turned out that this is exactly the case. Games like the MBAC task, which improve working memory, will cause your IQ score to go up. It actually increases your fluid intelligence and makes you better at solving problems. What was the name of it? NBAC task. And you can improve, did you say you can improve your IQ score from it? Yep. So let me give you an example. So this MBAC task, it's one of many types of games that could improve your working memory. But what it involves is a, a sequence of letters or numbers. It doesn't really matter what the sequence is, but you have to hold information in memory whilst new information is coming in. That's basically what working memory is. So let's say it was uh, A, G, B, 1, 7, 9, 9. Anytime uh, two, uh, two numbers or letters are said in a row, and they're only separated by one position, you press a button in the one-back task. In the two-back task, it's not when something's been repeated compared to the one before, but the one before that. And then you get the three-back, the four-back, the five-back. So, you know, if, if you've got a sequence of numbers, A, G, seven, nine, seven, nine, in a two-back, you'd press the button. In a five-back, you have to remember something that was said five items ago, but then you're constantly having to update. Update yeah. your memory, update your memory and in order to perform this task properly. Now, there's really good evidence that suggests that if you take this training seriously, do it consistently, intensively over long periods of time, your fluid intelligence improves because you can hold more information in mind at any one time. Fluid intelligence, and that can improve your IQ. That is the most exciting thing. If you can improve your working memory, if you come to do an IQ test, your score will increase. Improving your working memory increases fluid intelligence. That is your ability to solve problems. So brain training, it definitely works. Certain types of brain training. And it increases your fluid intelligence. It improves your memory, obviously. It also nudges up your IQ if you do it regularly, intensely and consistently. And when the target of that brain training is working memory, that's when it has all these uh, effects that you're describing. And it's also a lot of fun, isn't it? Helps pass the time. Pass the time. <laughs>